I like Will Smith in just about pretty much everything he does with the exception of maybe three or four movies. Bad Boys um, 2? I'll push you out of that chair. <laughs> What's up, Internet World? We're the News 19 Nerds. I'm Leroy. This is my exact age and face. I'm Michael. This is my exact age and face. Um, you're, so you're not a duplicate or a clone or something? If I was, man, this would be a terrible clone. Because <laughs> you didn't update anything. Oh, man. He's still old and angry. <laughs> Y'all didn't even change his mood. Nope. Man. Didn't even give him any hair. He's still gray. And he's still mad as hell. <laughs> um, with that, we're talking about Gemini Man. Gemini Man. Um, a movie that has been trying to get made for decades. It's on the blacklist. Yeah. Uh, Harrison Ford was attached to it. Nicolas Cage was attached <laughs> to it. A bunch of big time movie actors were attached to it. Clint Eastwood was attached to it. Yeah. Uh, Ang Lee said, y'all don't worry about this. I'm going to make this movie. Mm -hmm. With Will Smith. And I got to say, visually, he succeeded. I saw it in 3D, high frame rate. And visually, this movie was, it, it's, it is the best 3D movie I've ever seen. Lies? It is. Lies? You haven't seen it in 3D. You don't know. It's the best 3D movie I've ever seen. Over Avatar? Uh, yeah. I don't need these fake people. Give me these real people. Uh, you're going to say Ang Lee's Gemini Man was a better 3D movie than Avatar. I know what I said. Wow. You need to see it in 3D. I don't. You do? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. It, it looked good. Wow. It looked really good. I don't know. Um, Man, don't let James Cameron hear you. <laughs> oh, so you can be mad about that and MCU together? Him um, and Martin Scorsese? I'm just saying. Just might get pushed out of this hole or something. <laughs> ass might get shot to Pandora. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, visually look great. Now, the movie overall, eh. Move on. I'll give it two. I'll give it three Henrys out of five. Okay. I'll give it a... I'll give it three juniors out of five. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a perfectly average movie. It's yeah, it's a, it's it's a movie that's it's a movie from a different age. Yeah, it's a it's an action movie in search of a time period. Um, especially when you think of when you think of what this movie is and what it could be saying, it does none of those things. Yeah, um, it doesn't really answer any questions. It just poses something out there. Didn't even pose really. It just. Well, I guess I just meant from the tone point of. Uh, you have, you have a double. Yeah. But I will say this. Um, I'm not going to knock it because I like Will Smith in just about pretty much everything he does with the exception of maybe three or four movies. Bad Boys um, 2? I'll push you out of that chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can run out of that chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to see a real special effect, y'all. <laughs> but dang, Leroy got the powers. <laughs> um, Will Smith carries this movie. He does. Oh, yeah. He, he literally, just like Joaquin Phoenix carries the Joker, Will Smith carries this movie. It's, it's amazing. When you have A-list talent, man, they can really elevate they can, a movie. Hey, they can speak. Now, granted, everything else around, and I, this is another movie where you have Clive Owen, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Benedict Wong. No. Uh, Benedict Wong. Benedict Wong, because I got it wrong last time. What'd you say? Benedict. I said, uh, whatever the guy from uh, SVU is. Oh, I don't know that person. The, uh, the, uh, the oh, B.D. Wong. Yeah, I said okay. B.D. Wong. Um, Got it. Um, you have those three people in this movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, I forget what the uh, the other lady's name is, but she's in a lot of stuff, too. I, her, it's right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you pulled it up. <laughs> I did. Uh, Linda Iman, okay. uh, uh, who plays Lassiter. She, I love her as an actress. She's a very good actress. To me, that was a waste of a movie with them. Like... I'm sorry. Those are Clive Owen is amazing, and he was just a generic bad guy. Um, yeah. Benedict Wong, really? That's that's what y'all did with him. And Mary Elizabeth Winstead. At least she got to fight in this movie. At yeah. least I can say that. She, at least she was a badass in this movie. But everybody else. So I have a question for you. So do you know if you saw it in high frame rate or not? You just saw two D, right? I just bought a ticket. It was at the time. Oh, because I'm just wondering. Things. Did it look? How it looked it look, amazing. How did it look to you in terms of... Because the fidelity... The only problems I had, there were a couple of times where the color banding, it was almost like it was smearing. Well, that's because there's no movie theater in this country that can play this movie 
the yeah, way, the way it's supposed to be played. played. And there were some kinds of like, ew, the colors are kind of And that's why. Off. I don't think there's any, I don't think there's a movie theater in, in our city that comes close to what you would see in a major, mm -hmm. major city. Yeah. So, of course, you're going to, and to me, that's why I didn't even bother to pay the extra money to see it, because I wanted to see how the story was. I knew it was going to look good, even on just regular. So, how did the clone Will Smith look to you? He looked fine. I think he looked beyond fine. The way I was like, that looks like a... Yeah. Um, My problem with him was he didn't get a lot to do. I, I, I've Again, non, non, we're still doing non-spoilers, guys. Uh, so that's my biggest problem with this movie. As long as it took to get made, I felt like this movie, and a lot of movies do this, they think because they have a cool concept. That's all you need. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. And they did not do a good job because you saw the trailer, you know what the premise of the movie is. So I'm going to clone what I feel is the greatest hitman soldier possible so that I can never lose that knowledge but you could have done so much more mm -hmm. like I don't care if it was as convoluted as a Metal Gear Solid game when you're talking about private military PMCs and <sighs> I don't care at least give it a shot they took no I swings I don't know but what I'm saying because is, those movies or those games do you are right, hours right. long but what I'm saying is at least they took a shot at least having some type of commentary mm -hmm. on the military industrial complex, uh, targeted killings. Mm -hmm. You at least had somebody saying something. This movie just presented like a generic action film and gave us nothing. The, you had the idea of cloning and what, and you did nothing with it. Mm -hmm. And again, I say this just like. Uh, Hobbs and Shaw, if you saw the trailer, you saw the movie. <laughs> there I don't, was I don't, I don't think it was as offensive, as egregious as Hobbs and Shaw was. Oh, Hobbs and Shaw was offensive. But Gemini Man trailer, if you've seen a couple of the trailers, you know the plot line, you know what's going to happen. Not all of it. Yeah, you do. What happened, we'll get to, So, I, I give it, I give it a solid three... Henry's. Mm -hmm. You gave it... Three a, juniors. Three juniors. Yeah. So we've given our opinion. And we're now going into spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, you don't want to... We understand. Yeah. We're doing spoilers. Mm -hmm. What did you not see in the trailer that happened in the movie that you were like, oh. Uh, young Will Smith at college. Yeah, but you knew that was going to happen. I didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, I, I, I knew that was going to happen. You, you knew there was going to be another clone on top of a clone? Yeah. I didn't know that. You, you know how I knew I mean, that? I knew it once the person came up. I was like, oh, this, this is the second one. I knew that. But. I knew that in the beginning when as soon as the movie started and he met his buddy on the boat and he was like, he made a breakthrough. I was like, that's it. They're, I, they're, they're trying to make... Because I thought in the movie, I thought all the guys... In the black suits, we're gonna all, be all clones. I see that, I, I, and that's I why I was like, too. there was nothing in that trailer, in that movie that I did, because I was like, why are they all dressed like Crisis, um, or Bishop from Crisis One, Two, and Three, um, or what was it, Bishop, or is it, uh, I forget what his name is, but they literally looked like the dudes from Crisis. Mm -hmm. um, I, it was to me, it was a ge fine generic action flick. It kind of reminded me of. Him being the bad guy kind of reminded me of uh, Kevin Spacey being the bad guy in the Modern Warfare game. It's pretty much what it was. Just generic. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. But that's guy, whatever, blah and, blah blah. And Kevin Spacey in um, Infinite, uh, whatever, Call of Duty Black Ops Three or Call of Duty Black Ops Infinity War or whatever you want to call it. I it was know. Advanced Warfare. I don't care. <laughs> I played it. And I it was Ghost. I don't know. No, it wasn't Ghost. It wasn't Ghost. Because okay. um, Mick that, that had Kid Harrington in it. No, that's oh. a Infinite uh, Warfare. Okay. Um. The other one, Ghost had uh, the Mickey Rourke knockoff guy. Okay. Who was the bad guy. Okay. Um, as I watched the movie, and that and, and the guy on the boat said he made a breakthrough and he got scared. I was like, oh, we're going to see a bunch of Will Smith. Because I'm like, you're not going to have this technology and not do another one. Because <laughs> that, that's why I was like. But here's the thing. Why stop it just the, that one then? That's what they didn't. He... 
they didn't stop at the one. Will Smith and Will Smith stopped him before he could go further. But what I'm saying is, why wouldn't he already make it? Because he, he knocked off all the people because he wasn't ready. Remember mm -hmm. when he's talking to Lassiter? He, mm -hmm. And she was like, we're not ready. And he's like, Junior's ready now. Mm -hmm. And they're like, uh, and, and because Junior really wasn't ready because remember, Jun Junior was supposed to go to Yemen. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to go to Yemen with that squad, but then that squad couldn't go. And that whole thing with Clive Owen, that's why I was like, there was so much they could have said about agency of yourself. Like, are you tied to the same, th doomed to repeat the same mistakes if I cloned, if you cloned mm -hmm. yourself? And what would you do with this new opportunity? Is it, is it really you? Oh, there were so many questions they could have asked. And, they, and they, they failed. I thought the, the action was interesting to me. Yeah. Um, it wasn't that I had the scope of what they did wasn't anything incredible. It was just the way it was shot. It was different. Um, more it, kicks. More. Yeah, and it you you really felt everything. You couldn't really hide punches like you would in another movie because you have so much data coming at you. And well, not only that, the they didn't do the Tekken thirty seven or oh, different cuts. Yeah, it's yeah. like because Liam Neeson is oh. <laughs> <coughs> Ain't you got you. that hate in your heart. That's what happens. Oh, I hate Liam Neeson. <laughs> Where you go? Oh, take off, go oh that's, I know. I hate. Woo. <laughs> Don't get me started on Taken. Oh, <sighs> I almost got all upset again. <laughs> um, but yeah, you. So they wanted to show the action wide screen, and I and I like that. Yeah, it looked good. I just I felt like the best scene was when he said. He said, I'm the best. You're obviously, uh, obviously not. Obviously, you're not. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Man, Will Smith can still do, deliver a line like ain't nobody else. And he did a good job of talking to himself. Mm -hmm. But as him, as his younger self, he didn't have a lot of... like. I, there I, wanted to be more of I, him finding I, himself, that thing. Not just finding himself, but if you got a younger... If you're acting as a younger version of yourself, dude, go balls to the wall. Like, don't stop. Like, I would have loved to have seen... Will Smith act like he acted for Fresh Prince. No, uh, what's the uh, the one where he was? The, oh, the, the serious one. The the con artist when he was the young con artist. Oh, six degrees or something. Yeah, something, something, something like desperation that. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen that a little bit more. I'd have liked to have seen because to me, Will Smith is a gifted actor. He is a very he's he's a one in a lifetime generation actor, and. I would have liked to have seen a younger like imagine imagine using that technology in Ali. Mm -hmm. With the acting that he gave us in Ali. Oh, I mean you just where was that? And that's why I feel like they spent so much time perfecting this technology mm -hmm. and so excited about using it, they forgot about this little thing called a freaking script. Yeah. Now, the movie looks good looks for amazing. me. Until the coda part where young clone Junior Will Smith is at college. It looked bad. I don't know if it looked bad for you, but in 3D, like, this CG Will Smith does not look as good as the rest of the CG Will Smith. And I wonder if there was a reshoot, maybe that was added later. I will say I enjoyed that part. Like, okay. I, and this it didn't is, look weird to you, though? I, the, with the movie itself, it was just kind of like... You ever watch a movie that you watch over and over again? You just watch it to feel good, just to kind of like, that's what it was for me. Okay. When I watched it, I was dealing with a lot, and I was like, I just need to escape. And I did. The one thing I will say that I enjoyed is I would like to hear from people who are parents. Because that end scene with Junior and him and that whole... I enjoyed that because that was like, it was almost like that chance to right some wrongs and put a little good into the world where he was like, I can walk by a mirror again. Mm -hmm. And that whole, and that's why I said that whole, that whole part when they were in uh, Budapest, was it Budapest or is it Hungary? Is it Budapest? It's a foreign country. Is it? Budapest in Hungary. Oh, I don't know geography. You're not gonna get me. To oh man, anything. I think I think I'm right. But either way, when they were in you know, that, when, even when they were in that little thing, when he was going back and forth with himself, when he was like, 
I know you because you are me. That was an amazing scene. Mm -hmm. The rest of the movie could have been that. And that, when you saw that, you saw him trying to reach out to himself, but he was almost like trying to reach out to his son. Yeah. And that's what... I don't want you to do what I did. You can do better. And he was like, don't, don't be 50-year-old me with all this sadness and all of this pain from the things that I have done ruin you. Mm -hmm. And that, and because I don't know if you picked up on it. Remember when Mary, um, uh, Winston, uh, Danny, mm -hmm. was it Danny? Because her name is Danielle, right? No, Danny. Okay, Danny. Danny. Um, remember when she was like, well, maybe you could have, and he's like, there's no way in the world I could have had a, I could have a kid. Yeah. Because he's a virgin. Yeah. Because, and I, and I don't think a lot of people picked up on that. Well, he, he says it. But what I'm saying is, he didn't say it then. Oh, I, Remember, he never, he never explicitly says, I'm a virgin. Right. He basically, he just says, there's no way in the world I could have done that. Be and you really... Wait, are you, are, you, are you saying that 50-year-old Henry is still a virgin? Mm -hmm. You think so? Yep. I didn't get that. Because, he said, because the thing is, he said, there's no way in the world I could have a child out there. And the yeah. only way you could be 100% sure is if you have never right. done that with, the, with another person. Yeah. And so... When he said to the younger clone, "You're still, you're still 23. I know you're a virgin." Mm -hmm. And so now he might have, older Will Smith might have gotten with a woman. I feel like older Will Smith might have. He might have, but he knew at 23 he hadn't. Oh yeah, for sure. And so that's why he was like, "Oh, I'm careful mm -hmm. if I'm older, but younger me, there's no way in the world." And so th I felt like that was a very interesting thing. I, I think a lot of people miss that I. If you are, if you're really a clone of me, all of these things that make up who we are, and when he made that line, and you again, you saw it in the trailer. If they find out what we are, mm -hmm. that to me told a lot about the character that they designed, but failed to bring on screen. Because when he said, "The only time I can silence the voices and I feel happy." is killing another person. Pulling the trigger. And that to me was so deep that this person, that's all he knew, that's all he was good at. Mm -hmm. And I'm quite sure there are a lot of people out there who have, might have taken a life in service of their country, mm -hmm. who could understand that. And you could have went so much further with that. And they, oh, they dropped the ball. Like, to me, what pisses me off about this movie is the waste of potential. Mm -hmm. That like I because it starts to say something, or, or maybe you think you could, but it, it just you could have talked. You could have talked about so many different things. The fact that our government has this program, you could have denigrated this idea that the military, or, or not even the military, our spy agencies are using this technology to spy on Americans. You could have went back to when we had all those movies about the renditions and the Patriot Act. Oh, and it's just like, no, I'm going to make a younger Will Smith and then go punch each other and throw a motorcycle. Would it look good, though? It did look good, <laughs> but it was a waste. Yes. <laughs> so it, that, it looked good, but it was a waste. It's just like, oh, but it, 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 it felt comfortable because I got to see Will Smith be Will Smith. Yeah. So I can't knock him for it. He got a check. There you go. <laughs> um, oh, and shout out. We, we did Benedict Wong the same way the movie did Benedict Wong. We didn't talk about him at all. The little parts he were in, I really enjoyed Ben Wong. I, what was up? The, like they could have gone more into the whole tattoo, like his squad. Oh, yeah. yeah. So upset. Um, Benedict Wong gets killed. My man on the boat with his uh, floozy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, like, yeah, my wife is out shopping. <laughs> what is? Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Some <laughs> random woman. I was like, but yeah, like that whole. Uh, that's why I said it could have. You know what I really wish this movie could have been? What's that? A vehicle for Black Solid Snake. Because that's basically what Metal Gear is about. Cloning, the, uh, what is it, uh, Elephant ter Terrible, all of that. Like, you could have done so much with this movie and spoken so much and you pissed it away. Infante Terrible. Whatever, man. You know that's You what said I'm elephant. I did. The I terrible said, elephant. I said, I said Elefante. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> All right, folks, you want to hear more broken up languages that we can't pronounce properly, uh, come here for these videos. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know why you do, but um, <laughs> we're, in a, we're glad you're here. Yeah. In addition to YouTube, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and WOTX.com. Uh, any questions you want to leave with them? Uh, 
if you've seen the movie, what would you have liked to have seen? Hmm. Like, what was it missing? Like, what was it missing to you? And I, if it wasn't missing anything, let us know. Again, because I thought it was a solid three. This was a movie I would have been happy to see in the 90s. Mm -hmm. This was a perfectly good 2001 Will Smith movie. There you go. <laughs> and we're about to get another one called Bad Boys for Life. Whoa! On Shut that, your mouth. We're out.